everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Brogan and I make videos about sewing, fashion and all things crafty. Today we have a super exciting video coming up. Over the past few weeks I've been receiving quite a few gorgeous fabrics so I'm going to be talking you through what's new in my stash and some loose sort of sewing plans for all of them. If you're wondering, I am in fact wearing one of my newest makes. I'm absolutely in love with it and I did film the whole process of making this dress so I'm going to pop that link in the description box below in case you want to check that out as well. And without further ado, we are going to get into it ladies and gents because let me tell you, we have a lot to discuss today. <laughs> Just a quick disclaimer before we jump in, um, I'm really grateful that quite a lot of these fabrics were kindly gifted to me. I'm not under any obligation to talk about them, I genuinely do love them and I'm sharing them with you because they're from all my favourite shops and I think you'd love them too. So the first shop I'm going to talk about is Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. I'm going to be putting all the links down below to everything that is still available online. I have been a huge lover of Rainbow Fabrics for a really long time. They specialise in a lot of dead stock fabric and they do mostly viscose but also cottons as well. And they have such a great range, I'm never short of ideas when I look on their website. And they kindly sent me over two fabrics from one of their latest drops. So the first I have here, and it is a stunning striped cotton fabric. So if I show you a bit closer up, it is blue and white and then all over it has these pearls on. I don't have any solid plans for this one yet, but this is a potential wedding guest outfit fabric. One of my good friends is getting married in August and I'm thinking about sewing this up into an outfit for then. I do absolutely love the seashell dress from Daria Pattern Making. I'll link that below as well, but it's basically quite a simple baby doll style dress, but it has like a ruched tie detail in the middle of the bust, which I think could be super flattering to a company um, bump. So that's what I'm thinking for that one. However, this is where I'm gonna need your input because Rainbow Fabrics also sent me a second option, which could be equally as stunning for a wedding. This time we have a lace fabric. I very rarely sew with lace, so I'm really, really excited to have this in my stash. And as soon as I saw the colors, I absolutely fell in love. So this one is a sage green. It's got pinks, yellows, blues, and if I open it out a little bit so you can see just one layer. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just the most gorgeous fabric you've ever seen? I have been a lover of Self Portrait, the brand, for quite a long time. They do a lot of lace dresses, and I think this could make a really lovely, sort of quite tight-fitted midi dress. I seriously just don't know what to do with this one because it's so pretty. I need to have a proper sit down and think, but I just think a summer occasion outfit would look absolutely stunning in this. And the last one I want to show you from Rainbow Fabrics, I bought this mm, maybe two, three months ago now, so I will need to double check if it's still available, but I couldn't not show you. Look! Oh my goodness, I think it's so beautiful. So this one, I'm not too sure, but I think it could be a Georgette. It is quite um, lightweight, slightly sheer, but the colours I just think are absolutely stunning and I'm a sucker for a fruit print. I mean, you'll remember my lemon dress that I wore, uh, which I love, but now I need an orange dress for sure. I'm not 100% decided what I'm going to do with this one, but I did, and you're going to howl when you see this pattern, by the way, I did receive a gorgeous pattern from Tilly and the Buttons, and it is the sky dress. Now, if you're wondering why it has this lovely sort of decorative chunk taken out the top of my pattern, it's because Roger managed to get to the post box before I did and ravaged this pattern almost to death. So luckily I managed to save it from him and I have this gorgeous dress to sew up. So you can do it in like a maxi style or it also shows you on the back that they've got the mini version. I personally think the maxi could look really gorgeous and this is a really nice lightweight summer dress. I'm definitely looking for things to keep me cool this summer um, because you get very, very hot when you're pregnant. Whew. 
am I getting so out of breath talking about fabrics? Okay, moving on to another shop. This time I'm going to be talking about Fabric Zone. Um, I hadn't actually purchased from Fabric Zone before, but they reached out and wanted to send me a couple of bits and I've managed to find some really nice things on their website. So again, I will link them below and definitely they are worth checking out. The first thing I got from them is this cotton. Um, it is kind of gingham, but absolutely tiny and it's red and navy blue. I must admit, when I chose this on their website, I did think it was gonna be bigger gingham, so you be able to see the difference between the red and blue more. So um, yeah, not exactly what I was expecting to come, but I do really love it. I might save this one for more of an autumnal make, seeing as I have so many summer fabrics to be sewing up, but I do think this could make a lovely blouse or shirt dress. I'm definitely wanting to make a lot more breastfeeding friendly items for my wardrobe. So I'm thinking button down dresses, things like that. I do think this could be a gorgeous option to wear with boots and maybe a leather jacket in the colder months. And the second fabric that I picked up from Fabric Zone is another Liberty because I'm just obsessed and I love it so much. I went for another Betsy and this one I really love because it's in quite muted tones. So we've got sort of denim-y blues almost with the blush pinks and then a few mustard colours as well. I got a couple of meters in this and I was thinking some really, really luxurious pyjamas because I feel like in the next few months I'm going to be spending a lot of time in my pyjamas. I know you all think I have millions of pyjamas. <laughs> I can assure you I don't have 15 that fit me anymore so I'm actually in need of making a few more additions to my pyjama collection so I think maybe a lovely lightweight night dress or shorts and a matching little cami top could be really sweet in this and it will feel really really special sewing it up in Liberty. And the last shop that I'm going to talk to you about today is Amy Elizabeth Fabrics. I have a whole host of things here, some for me, some for baby. So I've picked a few out that I want to show you because I honestly think you are going to love them. Before I get into the fabrics that I want to show you from Amy, um, I did want to show you, and you saw a few of these in my sewing room tour, if you've watched that, but she included in my parcel the most gorgeous positivity cards. And I think these would make such a lovely gift for someone that you know that likes to craft or sew or just likes to keep positive in general. So there's really cute ones like pop your positive pants on, I am loved. They're just really sweet and you could sort of write them out as cards because they're plain on the back. Or if you know someone with a sewing room and they want some new accessories for them, I think these could be really lovely. Moving on to the fabrics that I got from Amy. All of them are jerseys and I do actually love sewing with jersey, I just don't do it as often. I'm planning some really comfortable makes for the upcoming months. Things that are stretchy and will fit the bump. So the first thing I got from her, which is I'm pretty sure brand new, so she will definitely have some I think, but wait till you see this because I just don't think there is a more me jersey that I've ever seen. Ah, it's gingham! Look, it is pastel gingham. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful jersey in my life. And when I saw it on Amy's website, I just knew I had to have it. But I absolutely love the colours. So we've got peaches, oranges, lilacs. For this, I'm thinking of doing a really lovely maternity t-shirt style dress. And I was actually browsing on Tilly and the Buttons the other day and I saw that they have a maternity version of, oh, I can't remember the name now, I'm going to have to insert it later. But they do have some maternity top and dress options that look really lovely and very comfortable. So I think I might turn this into like a short t-shirt dress that I can just throw on and be really, really comfy. And then the second one that I got, which again, is either gonna be a really comfy maternity dress or maybe some pajamas that I can at least look half decent in around the house, <laughs> is this watercolor print. This one has blues and pinks and it's almost like a watercolour effect. It looks like someone's painted directly onto the fabric. 
I just could stare at this all day long. It makes me so happy. So I know that regardless of what I sew this up into, I will absolutely love it. Lastly from Amy, again, you will have seen in my sewing room tour that Baby is very lucky and has a gorgeous pile of fabrics waiting to be sewn up into cute little outfits. And Amy did send over some really gorgeous gender neutral fabrics that I just think will be so stunning for baby makes. So I've picked out a few that I definitely want to show you. So the first one is this one and it has elephants on and it says, hello little one, it has an ostrich look. Oh, one thing I will say about these fabrics as well is they are so soft, I mean, they just feel incredible quality. So I know that they will make really beautiful baby garments. So that is the first one that I got. The next one again is equally as beautiful, but this one has rainbows on. I absolutely love the muted mustards and greens. I just think it's so gorgeous. <laughs> I've already been looking at really cute pattern options. And I think a lot of these, I'm just gonna do in like baby grows and dungarees stretchy leggings and i'm hoping that i'll have enough of each actually to do like multiple sizes and things so that when baby grows out of one set they can then wear um the next size up something else that i got from amy is a nice neutral but again it was the quality that really struck me on this so it is a waffle jersey so you can see there that it's got a really really nice textured weave to it the colour is just the perfect neutral. It's kind of like not grey, not beige, but a bit in between. I can't stop stroking it because again, it's so soft. And I just think if I made like a cute little top in say the rainbows and then paired it with some leggings, some footy leggings uh, in the beige, I mean, how chic. This baby is gonna be so well dressed. And then I have actually saved my favourite until last and look at this i just love it so much so it's got all different little vehicles on it we've got fire engines cars helicopters i love the colors on this i mean how cute does this look with my outfit like the reds and the, the primary colors i'm thinking just a really simple baby grow or two-piece set of pajamas will look absolutely beautiful and yeah, if you haven't checked out Amy's website, especially if you have little ones that you're sewing for, I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. I have never seen such good quality jerseys in my life. That seems a bit excessive, but it's true. So I will leave all the links below for you. So that is it for all the fabrics that I'm going to be sharing today. I didn't want to keep you too long. I'm sure there will be many more fabrics that I can talk you through in the future. But that's just a little look into some of the things that I'm hopefully going to be sewing up over the next few weeks and months. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any amazing pattern recommendations that you think would suit one of these gorgeous fabrics, please make sure you leave a comment below because I always love when I get suggestions from you guys. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe it means more people can see my videos and wouldn't that be great hope you're all having an amazing week and i will see you in my next one